Hey y'all, this is Andreas13, and I knew you guys saw clips. You saw me with the legs for the werewolf. When we did the werewolf movie, you saw the the way we created the voice, the gorilla howl. Now, there are some things that we didn't have in the uh, movie because we just didn't have the budget, and we didn't have people like Mr. Rappaport. Today, we're here at um, Creature Effects here in Los Angeles, and he has a vast array of uh, special effects and a machine shop, robot. I mean, he has the next level from where it used to be. You know, because it jumped, I guess in the last 10 years, it, it really jumped. Mm -hmm. And we were having an interesting conversation because I was talking to him. And what sparked me to want to talk to this guy really in depth is Mr. Rappaport was telling us about how people prefer CGI over real animatronics or uh, live action uh, costumes. And I was in indicating that I saw how some films... They'll have a live action, they'll have a robot, and then they'll have CGI. They'll mix the three. That's right. So uh, we know, what, what tell our viewers out here in Long Island, what, what do you like about being in this business for over like 40, almost 40 years, since 86? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for Andreas 13 coming over to visit the shop. It's an honor having him here, and I'm, uh, I'm really glad he came over. So Thank you. As far as, you know, what business is going on today, you know, digital, computer, a lot of people are getting involved in that and they're, they're putting all their heart and soul into computers and the heart and soul doesn't give back as much. So what we still have here is people's hard work and heart and soul and they're trying to create things that look real, that feel real, but they're only a moment on film. So even, even like on, uh, they have The Revenant, you have Cowboys and Aliens, you have uh, Lone Ranger, uh, 12 Strong, our, our, our products are on that film, but they're only there for seconds at a time. And so it's really a, a film is a combination of so, so much wonderful work, all coming together from different crews, as well as you know. Well, you know, now, now let's go into, I wanted to, you see I got my 13-year-old in here. He's meandering in the, in the studio. Jameer is here. And the, the, the thing is, you know, I was able to make the... Uh, the werewolf suit, I, I went online, I saw a couple things, but you know, when I was 12 years old, my mom taught me how to sew. So, yeah, so I was able to, like, when we started doing early TV shows, because we've been doing a news broadcast, but we did a children's show, and, you know, we cut patterns, and we made, like, a Rottweiler, Children's on Patrol, we made, so I knew that eventually I could probably, you know, create, you know, fabricate. Now, where did you get... Vision to do that as well. Yeah, so where did you get your thing? Did anybody teach you how to make stuffed animals at, at, at 12? Or, I didn't know it was an inkling somewhere. Well, you know what happened is... Um, I've always thought about this when I was growing up. I thought about, wow, oh, that is so cool. I saw that in film. I, I saw that on film. I saw, but I never thought that was a job. That's not a job. Because you, you just watch it on TV or watch it at the theaters. I always really... But I never thought... My, my dad was always like, why don't you join the service? Why don't you, you know, he's trying to figure out something to do with my life. And I'm thinking, man, that doesn't sound right. I don't want to jump in the join the service. So I just kind of uh, started beating around, uh, looking around for things. I worked at, uh, I was a guard at San Quentin Prison for about eight months. And I said, you know, I don't really like this. i got to find what I want to do. And one day I was driving by some shops in Northern California. At 6 o'clock in the morning, I was delivering the New York Sunday Times with her car. And so I did beat up old car, and I, <laughs> and I was driving by, and there was these people working on films, and I, I work on these monsters. I said, hey, what are you doing? They said, well, work on the monsters, and I'm really tired. And then I said, I would love to do that. And they said, well, why don't you start tomorrow? And that's a true story, because back then, nobody was doing that kind of work. And so they had to train everybody, and they were looking for people to work cheap and learn. Wow. Now, see, that's why I always try to ask people, you know, stuff that's not really conventional, and we've been, you know, throughout our years, because this is truly amazing. It's artistic, it's uh, mechanical, it's futuristic. Tell, tell us how do you feel about incorporating robotics, because that's still a minute in it. It's still, you know, we get calls for it more and more than we... Uh, I always think it's going to go away, because the digital world's taking over, it's becoming less expensive. Mm -hmm. But we're still out there, we still have a niche, and I, I think we're really good. I work with some really... What I do is I hire really good people. They make me look good. And I appreciate that, you know, the hell out of that. So, um, for me, I'm just happy to uh, work, have something I enjoy doing. It pays well, 
and you know, it's it's it's, made, it's changed my life. Let me ask you this, because I tell you, I had that werewolf outfit on mm -hmm. on my face, and after 30 minutes, the sweat, I had to stop. And then I'm on the stilts. I'm yeah, on the yeah, stilts, and I'm like, oh my God, somebody's got to like, you know, you're really blind. So we had to, because we were at a, a like an old farm, mm -hmm. I had the ability to, 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 to get started. But um, have, did you ever don any of the creations yeah, that I, you've made? I used to be in suits as well okay. earlier on in my career, and I'd be having these, I'd have these uh, lenses in my eyes, and my face is covered up, and I'm sweating like a pig, and I'm feeling like, oh, this is, you know, I can't see my performance because I can't hardly see. It's, you know, it's difficult, but the people are really good at that, and they enjoy, some people really enjoy being in those suits, and they do that in and out, like uh, uh, The Shape of Water. So that beautiful suit that was that underwater creature. My God. Yeah, and that guy was in there. He's famous for his suits. He's done, he is wonderful at what he does. And there are so many people who just focus on being wonderful in suits. Wow. Well, you know what? You got Devil Baby here. Yeah, Devil, here's Devil Baby. You, you got the Devil Baby. And, and, and uh, tell us about this wonderful creation. Well, you know, I will have to show you. This was uh, this was a few years ago. And we went to New York. And we, they said, hey, this here's our idea. Let's make this devil baby. It'll, it'll scare people in New York. And we thought, oh, that sounds like fun. I didn't really think it would be fun. I thought people wouldn't be scared, but it was great. Uh, the, we went all over New York, all the different uh, areas, and a lot of people would watch it. And they, even though they saw what was going on, when they came up to it, what happened, it would be, it would be down like this. And then we'd have a little switch, and it would pop up, and it would scare the hell out of it. It looks so realistic. It looks so Well, when realistic. we get it going, it really, I mean, we could hook it up for you if you wanted, if you wanted to operate it. But before I, I let us, let this moment escape me, mm -hmm. where do you see the future of this art? This is art. Where do you see the future? Because I know when you when you finish a production, you don't want to destroy. A lot of these things aren't stored the, the best way, That's right. and they're destroyed sometimes. Mm -hmm. where, where do you see the, 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 the future for this art and how it's going to progress? Well, you know, I, I'm lucky enough to be able to go to the Academy Awards every once in a while. I see the digital artists that are coming through. I see the work they're doing. And it's really film is moving towards the digital world. This stuff is great, but I, I think in 10 years people will think, oh, that stuff was so wonderful back in the old days. Uh, I really feel like uh, digital work, 3D printing, which is you know 3D design, scanning, it's going to change this business. Like so many other things have changed. I think you have to work, start working in the computer. I mean, do this work right now while it lasts, but also consider you know, working in the digital world because that really seems to be the future. Uh, in China, like we were, we were always bidding on work in China. They are constantly focusing on digital work. That's all they do. So uh, I would keep that in mind. Okay, and uh, words of wisdom for Mr. Rappaport. In closing, what would you tell uh, somebody in high school, somebody in BOCES, if they were looking at these films and wanted to get involved? What would be the best advice for them? Well, first of all, I've done well in this business. I'm not a smart guy. I just enjoyed what I do what I do every day. So the fact that I just put in longer hours and I enjoy it and I don't mind doing it and when I come to work I kind of I like still like it. Look for that in, your, in what you're doing in your work. And digital work working on the computer can be wonderful. Doesn't have to be you don't have to be a smart really smart person to do it. No, you just have to like it and want to do it and you'll learn about it. And that's what I'd say. I'd say focus and have a good time doing it. And you know what? Since we're here at Creature effects. I want to say, in closing, you could either die for a cause, but not because. <laughs> That's from Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav, thanks a lot for that term.